my guys welcome back to another stitch with me if this is your first time joining my name is crystal rowe and i am working on winter rose manor by brenda gervais this is 25 count prim lagana by Lori holt and y'all i'm in the home stretch actually yesterday i put in my brother's initial and my initial and <laughs> I keep thinking of Donkey Kong. <laughs> so I, it's like, I thought honestly, okay, if this is your first time watching, I lost my brother in 2018. This is a tribute piece to my mom. The male cardinal represents my brother. The female cardinal represents me. And the pink house represents my mom, who's always the home. Well... I really expected myself to get like super depressed when I put in my brother's initial, but I didn't. You know, I thought about him and, um, you know, I didn't let myself get into a negative space, so that's good. Um, it was just a, you know, just thinking about him, how much I love him and stuff. But then I finished it and I was looking at it, and I guess it's because I'm a child of the 80s, but all I could think of was Donkey Kong. <laughs> If you can't, if you can't laugh about stuff, what can you do, you know? Laughter's the best medicine. And what you can't see over here is Stormy is trying to destroy my thread. Um, she, her favorite thing to do right now is to get on my, uh, little table I use for my cross stitching and destroy everything and knock it in the floor. So, yeah, she's over here wiling out. Oh, I've had a crazy week. Alright, i got to find a needle. There we go. We've had a crazy week because of Parker's birthday. So, I started physical therapy. And, um, I think I talked about that in the last video. Okay, yeah, my last video was the morning of Parker's birthday. So, we went to the water park and it was so much fun. We needed that so bad. I mean, we had a blast. And he was just the perfect age for him. See, his development's a little bit different. But he's just the perfect age for him to enjoy that. And I'm telling you what he did. He had so much fun. We stayed. Um, but here's the thing. We went on a Thursday, and I researched it, and it was supposed to be very, very slow. So, you know, you, there wasn't supposed to be a lot of people there. It's one of their slowest days. And I thought, well, that will be good because he doesn't really do very well in crowds. And I just messed that up. And, you know, that will give him plenty of space to, to be able to move around and not bump into people and stuff like that. Well, three day camps showed up. One of them was huge. It was the Boys and Girls Club. And it was there were a million kids. Then two more day camps showed up. So there were lots and lots of kids and not a lot of chaperones. <laughs> so there I mean it was packed and I asked the lifeguard, I said, um, is this normal? for a Thursday and he said no he said this is what Saturday's like so we almost left because it was getting like to the point where he couldn't he couldn't do anything it was just like kids upon kids upon kids that was stormy um and he said no 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 I want to keep swimming because I was trying to teach him some actual like swimming techniques he hasn't had formal swimming lessons yet. He can doggy paddle. And he's okay in, you know, like, three, three and a half foot water um, of kind of swimming around. But he doesn't know how to swim, swim. So, we were working on that. And, honestly, I didn't know what I was doing. I was just teaching him the way my dad taught me. But, I am going to have him take formal swimming lessons. But, anyway, 
Um, he said, no, 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 I want to keep practicing. I said, okay, if, if he's okay, that's fine. That's the main thing. And we stayed, and then all the camps left. And when all the camps left, it was like nobody there. We had so much room. It was great. I mean, he had a ton of room to play. It was so much fun. And we all got a little bit of sun. We used sunscreen, but... And he... I didn't plan on letting him go down the water slides, but the depth at the end was three and a half feet, which I knew he could stand up in. So he said he wanted to go down. So we did the one that was for a fam that was like you could you could ride it alone on an inner tube or you could ride a double inner tube. So I rode with him and first of all I have never gotten to do anything like that with him because my I was always too big but because I had gastric bypass um, I had I've lost enough weight that I could ride with him and that was one of the highlights because I could ride with him I still have a lot of weight to lose but to be able to do that with him let me tell you what for some reason I thought it was gonna be a little bit slower and I haven't ridden a water slide in golly probably 15 years and um, maybe even longer than that and I thought oh this is this isn't going to be very fast oh my gosh my heart went in my throat we went so fast down that thing and um but he did really well he liked it he just didn't like waiting in line so we never did do it again because he was there's no waiting in line is not his thing so we had a ball and then he wanted to go to a restaurant and order a steak. He's never done that before. He doesn't even eat steak. But he, I guess he's seen it on like TV or whatever, commercials. And he's like, I want to order a juicy steak. So we said, okay. So we went out to eat and we let him order a steak. And he just thought that was like big time. I mean, he was so excited. And he was so tired. I mean, he was exhausted. We all were. And then he said, I want to go to Target because we don't have a Target where we live. And he likes Roblox, which is an online gaming thing. And Target sells Roblox toys that you can't buy here where we live because they have a bunch of exclusive items that are just a Target. So I could tell he was really tired, but because we never, you know... We never get to go to Target hardly, but a few times a year, um, I said, okay. So, one last little birthday thing, we were dragging. But we took him in Target, and he found what he wanted. And then we went home, and Friday, we were so tired. My husband, poor thing, had to go to work, but, um... Me and Parker, um, we were exhausted, and um, he was so tired. I started to film a floss tube, and he was not having it. He did not want to deal with that, and he just, it wouldn't have happened. So, I said, okay, I'll just film floss tube next week. So, Stormy just crawled up on my chest. It's so sweet. She doesn't do that much anymore because she's so active. I don't know what Moses is working out. So, then he said he wanted to go fishing. Well, he said it a couple weeks ago. So, we went online and got my husband a temporary fishing license because... We haven't tried to take him fishing in a long, 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 long time. He's only been one time at the beach, and it wasn't really fishing. It was like a little kid's fishing class. But he's had a, like, serious phobia of bugs. And it just was, like, not anything we knew he would want to do because he didn't like to do anything outside. Well, he's getting to the point now where... He's not as scared anymore, and he's wanting to try new things. So, he wanted to go fishing. 
and I grew up fishing because my dad and his side of the family uh, liked to fish. They did fishing tournaments, and I grew up on a river, so it was, you know, we had a fishing spot that we could use any time because we were on the, literally on the river. Well, not literally on the river, but y'all know what I mean. The river was went through the far part of my backyard. So, um, you know, my husband grew up fishing, so we were like, okay. So, my husband got a temporary fishing license just to see how it went. And so, we went. We went to this little pond. It's like a, you know, little state state-owned pond and he did so well he learned how to cast on and off like I mean ca to cast his rod and he was doing so good because stuff like that's hard for him because of his motor skills and he did so good but my husband caught two tiny little baby fish and he lost it because he didn't catch any and I mean he was hot. He was tired. He was still a little bit tired from going to the water park. And it was rough. Let me tell you what. It was rough. And we just could not convince him of like. That it's really just random. You know. They both had the same kind of little artificial bait. It's just. <sighs> he wanted a fish. So. It was bad. He had a really bad uh, autism meltdown, and I thought he's never want, gonna want to go fishing again. And so yesterday he says, "I want to go fishing." That's <laughs> okay. So the place that we went was is closed on Sunday, so we went to the lake here. Now I live by a fairly large lake, and we never go there. It's ten minutes from my house, but. I mean, we just never go there, and I don't really have a good reason why. My husband grew up going there. That was, like, where he always went and hang out with his friends, but we've just never been into the lake scene. Um, you know, we have acquaintances that have boats and jet skis and campers, and they go there, like, every single weekend, but it just never, it just never was our scene. Um... And, you know, so, you know, it's really pretty and everything. And, um, but, so we took him there and he really liked it. And he didn't last very long. He got bored because the fish weren't biting. So we just kind of drove around. It's a state park. So we just kind of drove around the state park and he looked at everything and, um, that's about it. I mean... Um, we have to be really careful about lakes too because, you know, a pond or a pool or something we have more control over. But if he fell into the lake, um, unfortunately, people do pass away on that lake every year. And um, because of the, they fall in or jump in and they think they can handle the lake current because it, you know, it doesn't look like it's dangerous, but it actually is. So. We just have to be really careful if we ever when you know we have rid taken a boat ride and of course he had a life jacket on but um we had a good time so we've had a really good week um and starting today i've got to work on getting him back on his homeschool routine so that's not going to be <laughs> got to get up a little bit earlier and all this stuff but I think we're today's Monday I think we're gonna start on Thursday we're gonna do kind of like two little just getting back on track days um, you know simple just more about getting on the routine and then start our serious curriculum next week so because it does take a while to get to get on that routine, you know, just like regular school. The kids, they gotta get used to getting up and all that stuff. He's the same way. So, I gotta work on that this week. And 
I'm not sure about my floss tubes if I'm going to do once a week or every two weeks. I prefer to do once a week because I can remember better. I can remember about my stitching, about what I've done. I don't forget as much. But I think if I'm going to continue doing these Stitch With Me videos, I think I need to go every two weeks because it does take a lot of time to do floss tube. And starting homeschool again, I think I'm probably going to have to do two weeks because filming the actual video is not very long, but preparing and then editing and getting it uploaded and all that does take quite a bit. And school comes first. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes, but. If y'all see my floss tubes go to every other week, that's why. It's just a timing thing with, with homeschool. And, um, so, but yeah, I prefer to do, every, to do once a week. It just flows better. So, if I can keep that up, I will. It just depends. I have to see, I just have to see how life goes. I've almost gotten this filled in. I need another piece of thread. And I need a drink of coffee. Oh! I think I got Stormy's origin story. So, there's these kids I'm, this is a really long piece. It seems... Oh, no. What was that that fell? This is a long piece. I think I'm just going to do the loop method on this. It doesn't matter. So, anyway. There's these kids that come by my house sometimes. It's my nephew's best friend and his siblings. Well, my nephew moved away. He moved like an hour away, which I'm totally sad about because I, I'm like, I adore him. He's one I babysat for years and years and years. So I'm, you know, really close with him. And he moved an hour away and I never get to see him. Because when he comes back to town, he wants to see his grandma and his best friend. So, you know, I don't get to see him, so... Maybe, maybe he'll be able to spend the night soon. But anyway, it's his best friend and then their siblings. So, there's like five kids all together. Two, two girls and three boys. And the youngest is about maybe eight. And the oldest is probably 17 or something. Well, sometimes they hang out at my house like in the yard. And it's a long story, but let's just say these kids need a place to go, if you understand what I'm saying. So, they come over to my house. They live really, they live really close. They come over to my house. They're kind of my neighbors. And, um, they use the Wi-Fi for their phones, and they jump on the trampoline, and they get something to drink and some snacks, and their mom works over at the school, which is maybe like 60 yards from my house it's very close so while their mom's over there working she's a she works in the evenings as a custodian um they kind of hang out over here sometimes so i hadn't seen them in a while because i guess i really don't know why they just like started doing something else and then they started coming back over here well i was showing them stormy and i was like you know, she showed up on Father's Day, and, um, I told him the whole story, and one of the little boys, he says, oh, I think I know where she came from, because I told him, I said, we don't know where she came from. He said, I think I know where she came from. I said, where? Sorry, I don't think I'm in frame. I said, where? And he said, over at the school, 
there's a storm drain with a mama cat and kittens. And he said they've been there a couple months, which would add up. And he said the kittens are now about stormy size. And I was like, whoa, that makes complete sense because I live so close to school. I don't even know if it's 60 yards. Like, it's literally my house, a little restaurant, and then the school. So that's how close I live. So, um, that makes sense because, first of all, the timing makes sense. And there was a storm that day. So, if they're living in a storm drain, they would have to come out of the storm drain. And they were, she was just walking when we got her, which is how we figured out how old she was. Um, an estimate. Um, either the mama cat would have pulled them out or they would have crawled out. And because of the storm drain would have been filling full of water. And she somehow toddled over to our house. Now, I think this storm drain must be one around the other side of the school because um, I've never seen a mama cat. I've never seen the baby cats, but they know what they're talking about because their mom works over there. They've seen it. They said they've seen them a bunch of times. So, um, next time they come over, we'll find out where what area the cats are at. So, all the other cats are like feral um, because they're just living in the wild. Um, but yeah, that makes complete sense of where Stormy would come from. So, Parker was like, oh, she's got the perfect name because she came from a storm drain. We found her on a stormy night and he named her Stormy. And he didn't, he named her Stormy because of her coloring, but it just all worked out. So, she's our little Stormy girl. And my mom's cat came from a storm drain too. He was rescued from a storm drain with his siblings and was bottle fed by um, this guy. He used to be a policeman for the town and now he he has another job, but um, he and his wife rescue cats. So he was actually on a call that night and found them or he was, he was working that night or whatever and found them. And, um, so my mom got one of those kittens. I'm telling you what, my mom's cat is so overweight. He is humongous. He's humongous. And I said, Mom, you've got to do something. And she's like, well, what could I do? Like, what could you do? You cannot feed him so much. He's a monster. I mean, he's so big. And he was just a little ragamuffin like Stormy. He's massive. I have never in my life had a cat that fat. And, um, I mean, he's just humongous. Like, she has this little cat carrier, and he, it's, uh, she leaves it open in the living room, like, sort of like, so him, her dog is a Yorkie, and her Yorkie's like four pounds, four and a half pounds. He's so much bigger than the Yorkie. I mean, I don't know how much he weighs, but he's massive. And he can barely fit in that cat house. He likes to go in there and lay. And his fat's like touching the two sides. I mean, he's so big. And I'm like, Mom, please, you've got to cut back. Because what he does, he eats his food. And Mom just keeps refilling it. And then he eats the dog's food, too. And see, Jasper's tiny. <clears throat> so he doesn't need a lot of food because he's so tiny. He's a little man. He's a little Yorkie. And, um... Mom's like, he eats Jasper's food, too, and I have to give Jasper more food. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you gotta quit feeding him. Like, he's not, he's not rooting around in the garbage for food. Like, you're feeding him. <laughs> <laughs> and then, she eats, uh, Yo Plate yogurt, the little, you know, little cups of yogurt. And when she opens one, he comes running, because he knows she's gonna let him lick the, the foil lid and she's like she said I'll be in bed at night and eat me a yogurt and he'll come a running <laughs> like golly um <laughs> yeah. oh sorry I keep hitting that table okay well I'm gonna stop there 
Um, I need to try to keep these. I think I messed up that last stitch. I'm going to redo that. I'm going to try to keep these at 25 minutes. Um, so that it uploads a little bit faster. And um, like I said, now I'm trying to get on a new routine. Um, you know, 25 to 30 minutes is my goal. So, and I am so behind on my floss tube. And my normal routine is when I stitch in the morning is to watch floss tubes. So when I'm doing my stitch with me's and then when I'm uploading it, that's like, you know, an hour and a half or something that I'm not watching floss tube or hour and 15 minutes probably. And I'm so behind. I am so behind. So, and I, I hate that because I love, I love all my floss tube channels. So I gotta get caught up. I hope y'all have a good day. Thank you for listening to me ramble. And hopefully I will see you on Wednesday. If I don't, I always know if I don't upload, it's either because there's just something going on I can't upload, whether it's Parker's having a bad day or we're just busy or whatever. So I hope y'all have an awesome day. Bye.